Hello, I'm Ken. Today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, the energy meter to the Doye Swift to the Doye single phase uh, hybrid inverter. Uh, let's see what do we have. This is the CHNT three phase energy meter. Uh, you can use the single phase energy meter, also you can use the three phase energy meter. If your home has the three phase, then you can use the three phase energy meter. The energy meter uh, name is DTSU666. And this is the uh, 5 kilowatt uh, hybrid inverter. I already completed the connection. Uh, this is the uh, this is the three three phase a uh, circuit break. Now I can I, I connect to L one and L two. Here is the uh, L one L two, and L three is empty, and this is the neutral line. And uh, this terminal, as you can see, uh, L9, uh, L1 connected to 1, L2 connected to the 4, and the 10, terminal 10 is the neutral, neutral port. And also you can find the connection diagram is here. Here you can see, uh, there was a remark on the terminal 1, terminal 4, terminal, terminal 7. That means this is a grid input. And the uh, terminal 24 is the A, and the terminal 25 is the B, it's for IS485 communication. So this is the grid input, uh, terminal 1, terminal 4. And this is the output. Oh, output should be like this. It's more clear. 3, 3, uh, 6, 9, 10. And this is uh, and this is the L1. I, the L1 I connect to load. This this one is the load. It's the dehumidifier. And then now it's uh, it's running. And this is the L2. L2 connected to the hybrid inverter to here to this port to the grid port. So now we can see. So uh, the power, the grid power, three point uh, uh, one three kilowatt on the hybrid LCD. And then let's see the the energy meter reading. The total power is three point one four kilowatt. So it's the completely same with the hybrid inverter, uh, which means the energy meter uh, has communicated with the hybrid inverter successfully. Because you know we. Uh, the hybrid motor only connects to the L2, and we have load on the L1. If the if the communication is not uh, successful, the hybrid motor won't detect the the total power. Oh, let's go to the settings. As we can see, the the utility grid is charging the battery and the power the load. Currently, we use zero export to CT. Make sure you are using zero export to CT model. Only in this model it can detect the, the home load. And we also need, uh, you need to go to this meter for CT, which means you connect the energy meter instead of the CT. And uh, it's better choose A, B, C, three phase. And uh, also, you need to uh, make sure the, uh, the hardware is new because the new 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter uh, it has the RS485 port. This port is used to communicate with the energy meter. Uh, here is the 24 and the 25 communication cable as uh, RS485A and B. And also, you, you need to make sure the, the uh, the pin the pin sequence is correct. Uh, for this port, the uh, I think the pin 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 four is is B, and the pin five is the A. And 
and uh, also you need to make sure the uh, uh, the grid port uh, is connected at the at the energy meter or the output output side, and the load the load also you need to connect at the energy meter output side. You you can't connect your load at the input side. If you connect your load at the input side, which means the the load is is powered by the grid bypass. It, it didn't go through this energy meter, so it won't choose the, uh, the 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 power when uh, the power uh, which connected at the input side. Uh, now uh, we well, I'm going to turn off the 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 A phase load, the L1 phase load. Okay, let's turn off this one. Oh, dehumidify. Let's turn off. Okay, it's off now. Let's move to the energy meter, to the to power. A phase power is zero. B phase is three point nine kilowatt. C phase is zero. Same with now I already turn out the face surface. A phase voltage, B phase voltage, C phase, I didn't connect, is zero. The current, one amps. C phase, C phase. Because I just turn off the dehumidifier, so the power is increased, increased to 3.2 3 kilowatt. Let's see here, 3.2 kilowatt. Let's turn it again. Let's increase the power of the load. The increased power load. Okay, let's do here. The total power increased uh, 4.5 kilowatt. Okay, let's check uh, the hybrid motor for also increased to 4.5 kilowatt. Uh, also, you can use the uh, single phase uh, energy meter. Okay, this is all. Thank you.